Okay, hello everybody. In this lecture, we will be studying the evolution of stars. How do they evolve? Um, um, the characteristics that change in them, the physical properties, and we will study many things in this lecture. So let's see our outline of this lecture. First of all, we will see what the stellar models. Um, we will know why there is something called the main sequence stars. Uh, we will understand the life of a main sequence stars. Then we will see how stars can, after the post main sequence, how do they expand into into a joint degenerate matter we will go to the helium flow fusion fusing elements heavier than helium after that we will go to the evidence of evolution at star clusters observing star clusters the evolution of star clusters we will see the evidence of evolution at variable stars and we will see also the pulsating stars and the period changes in variable stars so the star the the structure and evolution of a star is always determined by the laws of hydrostatic equilibrium the energy transport the conservation of mass and the conservation of energy so the hydrostatic equilibrium is the equilibrium in the hydrogen and the energy transport through uh, the core to the photosphere of stars or the outer uh, surface and how the mass has always to be conserved and the energy so these are the main things that we have to take into consideration while studying the evolution of a star uh, maximum masses of stars are from 50 to 100 solar masses and that's because the higher the mass the higher the luminosity the higher the diameter is the higher the activity of that star which causes much ejaculations and makes the star not stable and run out of the fuel the minimum stars are 0.08 mass sun and they are the most living stars especially the brown dwarfs and the red dwarfs because uh, they don't run out of fuel fast because their activity is very 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 low so they keep their mass and their fuel without being um, ended soon but actually um, brown dwarfs can't be seen easily in the sky as you see this is a visible image for the, the sky you cannot see the brown dwarfs because they are very cool and they emit light in the infrared but if you added um, a filter for the infrared you will see the sky glowing with lots and lots and lots of brown dwarfs so actually um, we we discussed before the um, we discussed before the uh, HR diagram and we said that this is here it's in the lecture in the video is the name uh, the family of stars for those who didn't uh, watch it um, and as you see here is the main sequence okay and um, 
the main sequence can show us the initial star sun. So the initial star sun goes at the um, surface temperature 6000 and one luminous uh, one um, uh, relative to the Sun and so the main sequence stars are stars that live by, by fusing the hydrogen element to the helium element and the the finite supply of hydrogen means a finite lifetime until this main sequence star fuses the hydrogen into helium then helium into other elements which means it's a way its chemical composition will change so it will be away from the uh, main sequence so the evolution of the main of the main sequence which means away from the main sequence and it's usually caused due to the expansion of the uh, of the star into a red giant and this is caused because hydrogen in the core completely is converted to helium okay so the hydrogen starts to uh, fuse into helium and he hydrogen burning continues in a shell around the core and the HE core plus H hydrogen burning shell produce more energy than needed for the pressure support and this causes the star to expand into a red giant So, as you see here in this chart, the stars on the main sequence start to evolve going to uh, giants. They all go to giants, 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 okay? They all go to giants. Um, and as you go up here in the main sequence, the life gets shorter. And as you go down, the life gets longer so uh, hydrogen burning shell keeps dumping helium onto the core and he hydrogen core gets denser helium core gets denser and hotter until the next stage of nuclear burning can begin in the core which is the helium uh, fusion so in this case we will get more more uh, other uh, elements as you see this is a five solar mass star and um, this is how it moves from a hydrogen core to moves on the path to a hydrogen shell and um, then it moves to uh, hydrogen helium core then helium shell and hydrogen shell plus another <coughs> I'm sorry so this is how they evolve and this is part of it there there's still more so this is 
the change of the core and the shell according to the life path of that store. <laughs>